several announcements on December, not December, we're in January. January 20th, we have a session meeting at 2 p.m. as of right now. So if you serve on session or want to be a session member, just come and uh, see the flavor of it and uh, participate as much as you can. But that is January 20th at 2 p.m. And I believe that's all the announcements that I know of. Thank you to Jeff for the Sunday school set up this morning. It was wonderful. Oh, well, a special thanks to Jeff. He got our memorial group. <laughs> More technologically friendly, and we had a very good Sunday conversation. So uh, thank you to the rest for leading that. And uh, I guess that is an announcement that is ongoing. Every Sunday night, 15 Sunday conversations in the memorial. Any other announcements to lift up this morning? Well, let us prepare our hearts and minds for worship as we receive this morning's prayer. Those things that keep us from listening 
and clear away those things that keep us from seeing. Reconnect us with your spirit, source of love and life. Let us stand in awe and wonder of all your great works as your strength and peace that you give us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. God is like rain coming down on the meadow, like showers watering the earth. With God, justice will flower through the days, and abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. Therefore, we can rest assured of God's grace, set free to be God's loving, gracious, hopeful people. During this season, we will share peace with one another after hearing the song, Put Peace Into Each Other's Hands. We thank Kathy for singing this beautiful piece for us today. After she sings, we will invite you to stand and to offer a gesture of extending your cupped hands toward others. As a symbol of putting peace into one another's hands. And if you are at home, you can ext we extend our hands to you, so you know we are giving peace to you. May we join our hearts as we hear the gift of song. <laughs>
Let us pray. Still speaking, God, we thank you for lifting your voice. We thank you for speaking loud and clear that when we are unwilling to pay attention, that you will make it so we can hear your voice. God, we pray that as we read your word, as we hear it proclaimed today, that we hear the very words that you have for us, that you speak to us in a way that will hear you, that will understand you, and that will lead us to the paths and way that you desire for each of us. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our reading this morning comes from the 29th Psalm, a song of David. Give glory to Adonai, you heavenly court. Give Adonai glory and strength. Give forth the glory that God's name deserves. And worship Adonai in the splendor of holiness. The voice of Adonai resounds over the water. The glory of God thunders over the raging seas. God's voice is powerful. God's voice is full of majesty. The voice of Adonai snaps the cedars, shatters the cedars of Lebanon. It makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of Adonai strikes with bolts of lightning. The voice of the Holy One shakes the wilderness, the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of God twists the oaks and strips the forests bare. And in God's temple, all cry, glory. Adonai sits in judgment over the flood. Adonai is its ruler forever. Give strength to your people, Adonai. Bless your people with peace. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks Thanks God. God. For millennia, not for, but F O R. <laughs> <laughs> People have been faced with the, question, with the question of which God, which gods do we follow? And I'm not just speaking of God or the gods that we don't see. I'm including the gods of money, the gods of self, the gods of being right all the time, all the way to the God of helping others and so on. And from my experience, when there are multiple gods, multiple paths that we are trying to follow, life becomes unruly and chaotic. The same is true of our why. When there are many whys before us, which why do we follow? Now, not everybody was here last week when Marina told us to begin with our why. And I suppose you're wondering, well, I pretty much just answered it, did not. We're speaking about why again. Because there's more to it than just beginning with why. In short, last week, Marina taught us lasting change begins with why. But unfortunately, in today's world, we're most often taught to begin with what. But Marina shared last week, asking why helps us identify our truest beliefs. And that's what gives us the momentum we need to make lasting change happen. So I'm talking about why, because we desire for our core beliefs and purpose to be our guiding force in all that we do together. 
In order for this to work, we not only need to know our why, but our why needs to be clear and concise. In our few short weeks here, Marina and I have learned that you all have done your work to name your wives. The church's mission statement, the PW's mission statement, your statement of welcome in the bulletin, which you don't have in front of us, but I've seen old copies, and your declaration of all being welcome in bold letters on the home page of our webpage are all wise and all give purpose to Bob why we are here. Yet a singular why for our congregation is not clear and says all are welcome on the website, our whys are not concise and memorable. Clear and concise things we can remember. And here are two non-why examples to prove this. And each time, I'm going to give you all six words, and I want you to finish it. I'll begin. The best part of waking up is soldiers in your cup. <laughs> Even if you didn't say that loud, did you, all of you know that? Yes. Yes, you watch too much TV. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> now, finish the more famous words. Four score and seven years ago, our, Our fathers, fathers brought forth in this country a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. I think we went to the same school, didn't we? I had no doubt that there would be some of you in here that could recite all of those words. <laughs> now, who's going to recite the other 140? <laughs> We are now, we are now <laughs> but I also have no doubt that not everyone in here can recite those words. For I know that I can. <laughs> At least there's one of us. Lincoln's words, his reasons for saying them, carry much greater importance than that of a coffee jingle. Yet, more in here remember Folgers in our cup because it's concise and memorable. Distilling what I've drawn from the mission of the church, the mission of PW, your welcome statement, and what I've heard from visiting with you, here are examples of some, here are some examples of clear and concise why statements. I can imagine that guide us to welcome all as God has welcomed us. To love all as God has loved us. To share God's love with all, from young to old. These are clear. They're concise. And they would help ground us as we figure out the how we'll go about doing ministry together. That said, we know that many of you would have even better words for the why that articulates God's unique and unifying purpose for us, the First Presbyterian Church of Greensburg. And I suspect some of you might be thinking, oh great, here comes another pastor that's wanting to change everything into the way that he wants it to be. Well, for any of you that are not the first child, <laughs> I am the third, you know that you rarely ever got anything that you fully wanted. And for me, I have never gotten it. Except for my 22nd birthday, but that's a different story for a different day. And if you ask my mother, she's going to tell mommies. <laughs> but more so, what I want for us to have is a why that we remember and shapes all that we do together. 
Knowing our why doesn't mean we'll change everything that we're doing. We're not looking to disrupt things. Rather, it strengthens what we're doing, centering us in our truest purpose, which is far greater than, well, that's the way we've always done it, or this is the way that we feel it should be done. It's obvious that there were clear reasons behind every why that has been written for this church in the past. Yet, are all of these whys still relevant to who we are today? Do they speak to who we are now? Are they specific to us? Or are they more general for all Christians? Let's use to welcome all as God has welcomed us as an example of a possible why. We are already living, living this welcome by the way we welcome other groups into our space, making room for AA and al -Anon. We're living this welcome by sharing welcome bags with visitors, by welcoming diverse views in conversations held around diverse subjects, and by welcoming our community in our lives through the many ministry or through the many missions that you all participate in and support. Guided by this why, imagine what else we'd be guided to do. Who else in this community needs a place of welcome? What ages of people? What groups of people? A clear and concise why gives us the momentum we need to make a lasting change happen. <coughs> so it seems that our country is in great turmoil because as a country, we don't have a clear why. Many groups of people have separate and diverse whys, and it causes us to be more divisive than any of us could have believed possible or desired to be. Having a clear why behind what we do is crucial in all aspects of life. As a church, our first step in determining our clear, concise why is always through God. This morning's song proclaims over and over again that God speaks. The psalmist exults. The voice of Adonai resounds over the water. The God of glory thunders over the raging seas. God's voice is powerful. God's voice is full of majesty. The psalmist proclaims, the voice of Adonai snaps the cedars of Lebanon. It makes Lebanon skip like a calf, and Syrian like a young ox. The voice of Adonai strikes with bolts of lightning, twists the oaks, and strips the forests bare. These verses aren't typical verses for a sermon that's telling you to listen to God. But in our world today, when so many of us are baffled by recent events at our capital, it's a good reminder to know that there is a voice out there that is more powerful than all divisiveness, a voice that resounds over the water, a voice that strikes with bolts of light people. Adonai, God, Holy One, three in one, is still speaking. And as we listen to God, may we discern together our why. A why that is clear and concise. A why that's more important, for, more important than vultures. <laughs> And a why that gives us the momentum we need to make lasting change happen. 
Let us pray. Gracious and holy God, we give you praise and glory and honor. We give you thanks for speaking in our lives for speaking in today's world. That when the last sentence was penned of Holy Scriptures, your words didn't stop. But through creation, through us, through words written long ago, you're still speaking to us, guiding us, focusing us on you, on your way, on your path. Help us, God, to discern with one another our why. The why that shapes all that we do here. God, help us discern with one another our truest purpose as a congregation. We believe, God, that you are still speaking. Help us Hear your voice and help us live in it to the ways you have for us. This we pray in Christ's name. Amen. As we explained last week, the Psalms have a repeated direction throughout the world. While scholars are not sure exactly what it means, we are taking it to mean a pause and action. <clears throat> pause is something that we need, and our faith calls us to this holy pause. And we will use an instrumental sound. <clears throat> we will use an instrumental sound to remind us to take our pause a breath, and remember that set the settling of our hearts can offer the feeling that we are held in the hands of the divine. This morning we will hear thunder and then have silence. Feel free to close your eyes if you like. Imagine yourselves held in safety and love and care. When you hear the thunder again, we will enter a time of communal prayers for the people. And as Marina, as we did with Marina last week, in the prayers of the people, join me when we say, hear our prayer. So may we join our hearts in prayer. Pray for those with roles of leadership in the world, in this community, in this congregation. God of justice, hear our prayer. We pray for all who live in conflict. Prince of Peace, hear our prayer. We pray 
naming all the ways we are experiencing loss in this pandemic. Comforting healer, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for new directions of Decatur County, <coughs> for all those it serves and all those who dedicate time and gifts to help it continue. Emmanuel, God with us, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for clarity as we listen for our God in our personal lives and as a congregation. Transforming spirit, hear our prayer. We pray for all those we know personally and those we do not. We pray for our own lives and the lives of our families. God of love, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we say, say la. Say la. Let us join together in the prayer Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debts. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever.
play deep and wide this morning. May we listen to the fountain of God's peace, love, mercy, and compassion that flows deep and wide. You may recall from last week, but if you were not sure, that all you have to do to be able to play this song is follow the colors. So I will read them because I am aware that some people uh, have a difficult time seeing the difference between some colors. And so if I point to it, hopefully you'll remember where your color is. But the first line is red, yellow, and light blue. You have a light blue. And if I point here, and you have one of those three colors, and you will read the whole song. The second one is light blue, purple, orange. And the last is green, dark blue, and red. Now, Molly, I know you're going to play. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm... 